Hi everyone! In this short video, I'd like to introduce you to API testing. What is it? Why do we need it? And how to do it? That's going to be clear to you after this short video. So basically, we should start from the understanding what is API. API stands for Application Programming Interface. And for sure, you cannot find like one good, uh, absolutely perfect definition of what is API. You can find a hundred of different uh, definitions. So maybe the first, like the most understandable for you will be that API is a type of software, is a type of interface that helps to application to communicate with each other. So each time you use an app like Facebook, send an instant message or check the weather on your phone, you are using API. So what exactly is an API? Here again, you should recollect the information you know about the client server architecture. So when you use this application on your mobile phone, let it be so the application connects to the internet, sends data to a server, and the server then retrieves the data, interprets it, performs the necessary actions, and no surprise, sends it back to your phone. The application then, uh, makes this data like readable, understandable for you. And all this happens thanks to API, so uh, via API. To explain it better, maybe we should take a more familiar example, maybe a little bit far from IT, but still imagine that you are sitting at a table in a restaurant with a menu of choices to order from. Uh, the kitchen, in our example, will be the system, the, th the system that will prepare your order. But what is missing? This is like a critical link to communicate your order to the kitchen and again to deliver your food back uh, here to your table where you're sitting at. And that's where the waiter or API comes in. The waiter is like a messenger or API uh, that takes your request, your order, and tells the kitchen or the system, yeah, in our example, what to do. Then when your request is uh, done, uh, the waiter API delivers the response uh, in case, in our case, it's a food back to you. More close to AT sphere, maybe example is spelling checker. Uh, when you're writing your email in any tool and you've got some kind of spelling mistake, uh, it's usually underlined in red. And yeah, this is again example of API work. When the system, your um, like the system in this example is the dictionary and one software is your email uh, soft and it's communicating with dictionary using API system. Uh, some more examples you can see on this slide and that's of course like a very short list of possible variants. So what is API testing? Let's go closer to testing. It's actually a software testing type that validates API, no surprise. Like the main purpose of API testing, you should of course check functionality of the site, uh, security of the programming interface you're working with, and uh, maybe reliability and so on. And this testing types is absolutely different from something you've previously working with. Because in API testing, instead of using like standard user inputs, like keyboards or something like that, and getting visual outputs, visual, I mean like a very clear picture of what is happening, you will use software, you will use special tools to call to the API to get output 
and to note down the system's response. So again, the ultimate goal of API testing is to ensure maybe that the web application delivers appropriate responses and performs appropriate business actions for the given requests. Uh, API testing can be performed when backend part of the application is ready. Imagine you have no user interface and still you are able to work with this data to analyze it uh, without having possibility to click the button book. You can actually perform booking using special tools. So uh, the first one, maybe the, the most popular one is Postman. Again, keep in your mind that uh, while API testing, API tests are very different from functional, from graphical user interface one, remember there is no GUI, there is no graphical user's interface while testing uh, this business layer. Again, it requires special tools. In this example, that's going to be Postman. Also, uh, input data and your output will be encoded. Yeah, and here is where uh, encoded format like XML, JSON come. So let's start again with the Postman. To send the request, for example, I'd like to get information about users in some system. I will have like step number one is to select get HTTP method, which help us, which helps us to identify, to find out the, all the needed data. Then I will provide the link, the appropriate link to the system. And the last step is like clicking send button and here is step number three. I can analyze the results. Here I can see the code like HTTP status response code 200. That means that uh, the request was sent and retrieves, suc retrieved successfully. And here I've got here the response. You can see that I can read ID of the user, his, her name, email, gender, and status. So like all information in JSON format, quite readable for me. And knowing the backend, knowing the data that should be stored here, I can check. Is it correct or no? Also, one more tool that works absolutely like in the same way, um, sends the request to the server and receives the response back from the server uh, using endpoint URL, that is Swagger. Swagger is an, again, like a Postman free open source tools. Uh, which is built uh, around the open API specification. And it's like can be used for a lot of different um, parts of your project, like to build, to design, to document, to costume API. But what is much more important for us, actually, it can be used for API testing. So here I've got the example with post method, if you know that post method uh, is used to create an issue, if you do not know that, join our channel because today we've got a post about the post methods included. So uh, here I've got like provided endpoint URL without me and all should I do is just insert the information about a pet I'd like to add into the so-called body. If I want to add some pet using uh, another tool like Postman, the system will be again close to it because when I'm going to get the data, I do not need the body. Still, if I want to post some information to update it, for sure, I will need to provide this information in so-called body. 
So I'd like to add a dog named Melon. And after clicking Execute button, what will I have? Again, 200 response with the body describing what information were added to the server. And maybe the last tool, uh, you can see that all of these tools are easy to use. They're quite understandable. If you're like an absolute newcomer, still it's very into using only your intuition. They're very, they've got very good usability. You can use them. So just uh, create a new project. SOAP UI is very good for testing SOAP web services. Uh, you can add new requests, new tests, and absolutely like in Postman uh, tool, you can create your own collections. For example, this is like calculator so up. I've added a request uh, with integer 5 plus integer 5, and I can see in the response body that the result is 10. Actually, that's all from my site about API testing today. And the last step uh, is left, like uh, make sure that you've understood everything correctly and try it in practice. So join our channel for more practice. See you.